So let's address the obvious, you know, as a black woman to see a black woman in Congress is exceptionally inspiring and amazing. Kudos to her for making it to Congress. I can't lie. That is great. That's amazing. I might be a little bit jealous of that because I wanted to be the first black woman in Texas to make um Congress. or what was it? I forgot what it was called. I forgot what the governor or something like that up in there. So amazing for that part. But <clears throat> on the flip hand side, okay, this is where I have a problem with Jasmine Crockett. And uh, y'all already know I don't like Kamala Harris because of where she stands and because she's a Jezebel. And y'all know I am a conservative, a Christian. So we have here Kamala Harris and we have Jasmine Crockett. Jezebel and then we have Delilah. Jezebel, Delilah. Jezebel, what she gonna do? Kill all the prophets, try to take down the Christian doctrine. If you don't sell Balaam and bow to her and her power and her beauty, she was ruling through Ahab. She was telling her husband what to do. She had made war. She hated anybody that really stood for the God of Israel. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Everything rebellious, demonic, that stands against the true spirit of God and anybody that's a true witness to the true God of Israel um, and his righteousness and his holiness. She hates that. That's a demonic spirit from hell then you have delilah and what does delilah do delilah uses her beauty her words drop like honey to entice samson <clears throat> the children of god <clears throat> even sinners even just the people of the nations to come and listen look what i do look what i said i got this degree i'm a black woman i endorse her you should endorse her too so jasmine crockett is having the spirit of delilah to entice black people to entice the people even white people to follow her you know, because of, of, of what she looks like, because of her pedigree, because of her uh, her her um her accomplishments, right? But not because of the actual uh, accomplishments of their of the Democratic Party, because we know that Biden and Kamala don't have any good accomplishments in their running in these last uh, couple of years they have bad accomplishments inflation okay uh, uh, uh the border crisis um uh, the gender th let's not even get into this whole transgender the abortion issues you know that us christians don't agree with but but let's talk about jasmine crockett here just a little bit because i i saw her pop up and, and um she breaks down her number one reason not for voting for Trump is that he's going to do plan. What did she say? 2025. We're going to talk about that in another video. But right now, I want to talk about Jasmine Crockett. Okay, right here. She says that we are just now starting to reap the benefits from the Biden and Kamala Harris administration. And I'm like, where are they at? Because I haven't seen them. We all know they did a horrible job. We know that Biden did a horrible job. We know that Kamala, Obama, whoever was whispering in their ears because Kamala and Biden are just a puppet for the radical left. And they didn't do anything for the gas. Matter of fact, he sent it all to China. He sent millions to China. We know that he spent $68 million, or I'm sorry, $86 million, uh, for immigrants to come and stand in fancy hotels when that could have been jobs and warehouses like Trump is trying to bring uh, for Americans. That could have been helping us with our rent. That could have been lowering our rent. He could have been giving a stimulus check, but he didn't. He gave it to people that don't even belong or didn't even come in America with docu legal documentation. They just came in. They just came right in because she said anybody can come in. We know that with um, Kamala Harris, 600 immigrants that were on the terrorist threat list came through the borders and were released into America's streets because she couldn't do her one job. But let's talk about Jasmine. I, I, I wrote a few notes here. Jasmine Crockett. This is what's delusional. I mean, because I got a few problems with her. She said that Trump is going to get in and not leave because the Supreme Court is scared of him. Honey, I thought you were in Congress, woman. Where is your brain? Use your brain. You got all that law degree and all that brain and you not using it. He can only do four more years. He, won't, he has only did four. He can do no more than another four years and he has to go. Nobody is above the law, so that don't even make sense. It does not make sense. And I mean, okay, this is another thing she said, y'all. She said that Trump wants to impose this what does she call it? Euro Christianism. Where is it? Let me find my notes real quick. What does she say?
Okay, pseudo Christians. But my problem is when she said Trump gonna get in office and he ain't gonna leave. My thing is why are y'all Democrats? Do y'all left this so threatened by Trump? Why y'all hate Trump so much? How is he above the law where he can do another four years and he's not gonna leave? Who's above the law? He gonna do another four years and he gonna he can't do another four years because he's already did one. Just like Biden can't do another four years because he's already did four years okay i guess he only did four years he can do another four years but my point is they can't do more than eight years and you know that so what do you mean he's gonna get in there and not try to leave like they try to act like he's castro or some what's another one of these dictators no just because he's christian and his belief doesn't make him a dictator we can't stop you from living the way you live inside your own house we can't stop you from doing what you want to do in your own house if you want to bow before a teddy bear you can do that in your own house so therefore this is not a dictatorship because if it was it would be like one of those radical islam countries where they kill you from switching from islam to christianity that's dictatorship come on now let's think jasmine but that's not it here's my problem with her because y'all know y'all know i'm a conservative and i'm a christian so she says she has a problem with Trump because he wants to enforce this pseudo Christianity on everybody where we all have to serve the same God uh, and adhere to the same beliefs. And I'm like, where, when, what? Where are the statistics that said Christians put a gun to your head and said you can't go to the mosque or to the Buddhist temple? Uh, where, where are the statistics that Christians came and took you from your job and kidnapped you and made you go to church, um, Jasmine? Where are the statistics? Because in fact, there are statistics that show that Muslims have found family members that were once Muslims that has converted to Christianity and beheaded them. There are in fact videos of ISIS and radical Muslims beheading Christians. Okay? But but you want to talk about us. You want to say we're radical. I, 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 what's your what's your beliefs, Jasmine? Because 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 see, you was real playing a real smart. Because you ain't want to mention who you serve. But obviously, you have a problem with Jesus Christ because you said that Trump is trying to enforce this one Christianity thing on all of America. And I'm saying, where where is the document or the law where Trump said that if you don't serve Jesus Christ, we're going to kill you, or that if you don't go to church every Sunday, we're going to kick you out the country? Where is the law? Because that does not happen in America. Because Trump never said that. He said that he is a Christian. He believes in Christian values. But where is the statistics that shows that he showed up at Muslims' doors and said, y'all can't go to the mosque tonight. Y'all can't pray seven times a day. That y'all got to serve our God or else. Where's Where are the statistics, Jasmine? So it don't make sense. It doesn't make sense because that's not what us Christians do. That's what radical Muslims do. Okay, to your point. Okay, now. Where's another, where's another thing? She said that the reason that she backs up Kamala Harris is because as a black woman, she looks up to her because she already went through the law school and it's, 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 um, what's that word called? Inspiring. You know, it's amazing to see somebody else that has done it before you. And I'm like, you talking about Kamala Harris, right? You're talking about Kamala Harris, the one that not only locks black men up for smoking and releases illegal immigrants in who kill and rape Americans, but this black woman who locked up plenty of prisoners for nonsense when she does some of the same thing, including smoking, but not just that. She's the same one that did not want to release low-risk prisoners. And wait a minute, wait a minute, Jasmine. This was her reasoning, because you said you admire her as a black lawyer. Well, I'm gonna tell you about what she did as a black lawyer, okay? She said that low-risk prisoners, low-risk now, these ain't even killers, these ain't even rapers, low-risk, okay? Probably went in for maybe petty theft, you know, little stupid stuff, little dumb stuff that you can be let out in for a year or two, maybe five. She said low-risk prisoners should not be let out of prison early, Why? Why? What was her reasoning, Jasmine? Because they're needed for cheap labor, such as working as firefighters to, uh, what did she say? To negate wildfires in California. That was her reasoning for keeping low-risk prisoners in prison. She said they're needed for cheap labor. Plus, if they get out, they're only going to get a job as like a trash man or cleaning up the park or something. So why should we let them out? They're nothing anyway. They're, they're, but you, this is the one you praising as a black woman. When, when she first came in, she identified as an Indian. But this is the one you're saying that you're voting for because she's inspiring. But look at her record. Her record speaks the opposite. Her record speaks against 
against her. I really don't care what color she is. I care about the policies that she's putting in place. I care about what she's doing for the American people. But she doesn't know how to run a country. She had one job that was securing the border. She couldn't do that. She doesn't know how to secure the border. She doesn't know how to be a president because she only cares about social things. That's women's rights. That's turning little boys to little girls. That's allowing men to come in on one, in women's restrooms and make us feel uncomfortable. Um, that's everything delusional, crazy, and he, she, it, they, we, we exist exist they exist but nobody exists all that stuff but it's nothing's truly politi politician nothing truly that's going to help americans put money back into our pockets it's nothing truly that's going to put jobs back into the american economy if it has nothing to do with these stupid social issues like a woman having the right to murder her baby if you didn't want the baby then you shouldn't have had sex then you should have used protection and you should have got your tubes tied why sit around and make life to take like if you know you don't want kids then take precautions not to get pregnant why sit around and be irresponsible how can i trust you when you're saying that a whole bunch of irresponsible females should have the right to kill their baby when they're not responsible in the first place to take precaution not to get pregnant since they know they don't want kids right now but i should trust you to run a country when all you want to do is take innocent lives the murder of the babies it may murder innocent lives and you say that we're not just because we tell you to keep the baby but we don't give you the health care and all that to keep the baby but yet you giving our money to illegal immigrants yet you locking americans up and allowing uh murderers and rapists to run the street you saying that low-risk prisoners should stay in to have cheap labor to put out california wildflowers and this is the one that jasmine crockett looks up to jezebel and delilah now, we're not going to stop there, Jasmine Crockett, because you also said, y'all like to say that democracy is for the people, right? And that Trump is a dictatorship and that Trump is a felon and that Biden is a family man. If he's a family man, why prices going up? Gas prices, why groceries going up? Why is this family man allowing dangerous illegals, over 600 that were on the terrorist list that Kamala couldn't keep behind the border over here so they can kill and rape us? 600 terrorist uh, uh, threats have actually crossed the border. 600 people that they said were on watch to be a terrorist have crossed into America, are here, and we don't know where they are. We don't even know the numbers, hundreds of thousands to the millions. And if he's a family man, then why is he not protecting the American people from being raped and killed by some of these people that have no documentation? Because we understand that America were founded on immigrants and that we're all truly immigrants except the Native Americans and Hispanics because they're part Native American and mostly European. But besides that, we have we first of all we didn't need documentation they bought black folks over here okay so i i, I don't have to say nothing to that because i didn't ask to be bought here they bought me here but for everybody else you have to come with legal documentation you got people working hard to come to this country and people just come just demand to come in and just bum rush the border have no respect and then got the audacity to shoot cops and rape women and kill people and y'all saying that biden is a family man how is he protecting the american family if anything, he is an, an, a person that is for um, injustice, for murder, for the rape of American people, because he's allowing people that are on terrorist lists and people that are undocumented. We don't know who they are. We don't know what problems they have to come in. And that's not the way you do it. So I debunked that whole family man theory because he has not protected the American people. And you say Trump is a felon, but again, I'm going I'm to push it to like pull up, push the nail into the, the screw here. I'm going to push the nail into the to wall. You say that Trump is a felon and Biden is a family man, but Trump ain't killing rape nobody. But Biden did and Kamala did when they allowed these illegal terrorists. And I understand they all weren't terrorists and they're all not after killing people. I understand that a lot of them want a better life, but it's a way that you do it. You have to follow the law. You have to work for what you need to get. You have to work to get it the right way. Your family have to work to get you over here, not sneak you over here, not bum rush the border and just make demands and take from my pocket when I've been working for years to get my social security and now you're giving it to these people and they've been in a whole nother country. Make it make sense. Trump ain't raping and kill nobody. If he cheated somebody out of money that don't compare to raping and killing people which Biden and Kamala has because of their lack to do their job and their ignorance in doing their job and protecting the American people. So that that to me that just debunks everything that Jasmine Crockett is saying. She's cute. She sounds nice, but she's a liar like Kamala. She says that um 
because Trump says he's trying to bring jobs in to actually help American people because you know how Biden was ignorant and gave millions of dollars away to China for why and gave millions of dollars away uh, in our oil to China for why and spent $86 million on illegal immigrants when that could have been put into our pockets, our jobs, bringing down our rent, giving us college uh, funds like Trump did and all that. We didn't get no stimulus check under Biden. Even, but, but let me tell you something. She says that Biden, come on, let me get to this one real quick and then I'm going to let y'all go. She says that Biden put, what did she say? Hold on, I got to find it. I want to say she said, I want to get the number right. Some amount of billion, six billion dollars into a Samsung stem plant in Ohio. Okay. Now, he started something like this in 2022, but I don't believe he ever followed through it. And they took pictures and it looked good for the press because he knew he was doing a horrible job because he was giving our money and our jobs away to people that don't even have their papers, giving it to other countries. And then it says in 2024, he signed an agreement to give $6.4 billion in direct funding for Samsung to develop a computer chip manufacturing and research cluster in Texas. This was just April 15, 2024. But nothing has actually been done yet. He just signed an agreement. And the reason why he did this is because he has been sucking these other three and a half years. In 2022, he took a picture and said he would do, but nothing happened. Nothing happened. In fact, he spent millions, like I said, on people that are not even citizens. In 2024, just four months ago, he signed an agreement, but nothing has happened. Because he knew he had to do something because you gave millions away. You keep giving millions away. You don't know how to run a you don't know how to run a country. So this was a hurry up, scratch up, backup rescue plan because I've been doing such a horrible job. So Jasmine Crockett, that's debunked. It doesn't count. He's just scary and hurry and trying to do something because y'all know y'all have done a horrible job. And he's heard Trump saying that American jobs need to be here, that we need to make cars here, that we need manufacturing companies and we need um, more uh, big, big manufacturing plants here. So what did he do? He listened to Trump and he hurried up and scurried up and tried to copy because he knew he was doing a hurry, a, 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 a awful, horrible job. Debunked. Debunked. Who is he giving a job to? No one. Debunked. Matter of fact, we may not even get jobs because the people that come from other countries that don't even have their paperwork are probably taking the jobs before us. They're getting the, the, the fancy stay in the hotels. They're getting their social security and everything in place. And we've been working for 30, 40 years and they ain't getting it. And y'all saying that Trump trying to take it away. No, it's you that's trying to take it away. You're trying to give it to people that ain't even got their documentation yet. 20, Project 2025 is going to be in another video. I'll do another one on that. I'm going to do another one on that. This one is just to speak to the fact that Kamala Harris is Jezebel and that Jasmine Crockett is leading y'all, you know, with her appealing looks and with her ability to talk and with her accomplishments as a black woman in Congress, um, the U.S. government, to drop her words as honey and to entice y'all because she signs Kamala and Kamala ain't did nothing for black people, no nobody else in this country. She didn't even do her one job. So why should I vote for her just because of the color of her skin? In there is, lack thereof, whatever there is. Because all these black people and pastors and affluent black folks want to get behind her and say vote for us because she looked like us, we winning. What has she done for us for me to vote for her? What has she done for us besides be light-skinned or be black or be brown? What has she done? What has she done but let people in that's killing Americans? What has she done but not know how to do her job? Not do the one job right? Take away jobs from us? Now you got to pay for their stuff and do this. I can understand it, it was 10, 20, then we can say, okay, yes, yeah, okay, but when it's hundreds and thousands and millions taken away from us, then it's a problem, because it needs to be done the right way. So, um, that's what I got to say about Jasmine Crockett. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking about Project 2025, because they like to attach that to Trump. So, we're going to talk about that one on the next one, but I had to keep this very limited, that, that Jasmine Crockett has a problem with Christianity, she has a problem with Jesus Christ. Also, she says... She says that Trump is trying to impose his pseudo-Christianity on all people. All people must serve the same God. Like I said, where's the 
statistics, where the news reports where Christians robbed and kidnapped somebody and said, you either going to serve Jesus or we're going to kill you like ISIS do every day, like Muslims do in radical countries every day. They go find their loved ones that turn to Christianity and chop their head off and chop off Christians' head. They hate us when we mention the name of Jesus. You say Allah and I'm going to keep moving. I'm like, hi, he ain't even real. I'm not even studying him. I'm like, okay, next. I say Jesus and they ready to slit my throat. Where, Jasmine? Where the statistics? The statistics, baby, they don't exist. You're saying that we, he's a one world dictatorship, but where are the statistics where we imposed our religion on anybody? What we said was this country was founded on Jesus, and it was. But y'all wanted to be one nation under Allah, one nation under the ancestors, one nation under black melanin, all this dumb stuff. No, this nation was founded on Jesus. It will be a Christian nation, but if you want to go worship the teddy bear in your house, you can. Ain't nobody coming to rob you and saying if you worship the teddy bear, somebody going to kill y'all. But radical Muslims are. Yeah, Jasmine, where the statistics at? Because y'all like to pull this stuff out, y'all tell, but y'all don't have no statistics, no facts. We got all the statistics. Christians get killed every day in these Islamic countries. They come over here and kill them. They get killed every day. But you want to talk about us. Not only that, but she want to say, which I want to argue is the same God they says that justifies slavery. Context, Jasmine, context. He wasn't talking about no black slaves. In the, in the Old Testament, Hagar was a servant to Sarah. Matter of fact, she was uh, black, but it didn't really happen. That's just what she happened to be. Israeli slaves had servants in those days. These were not slaves that they beat, that they whipped, that they killed, that they hung like the black slavery. This was people that would cook for them, clean with them. At that time, they would share their husbands with them. They would give kids like how Hagar had Ishmael because Sarah couldn't conceive at first. They would cook and they would clean for them. They would do like the housework. That was a servant. That was a slave to them. And so God was saying, slaves, honor your masters in that form. He wasn't talking about the, the black slavery where they was getting beaten and whipped and killed because of the color of their skin. So context, honey, context. He was talking about Old Testament where what they did was they cooked and they cleaned and their masters were considered the mistress and the masters. He was saying, don't, don't hate them in your heart. Serve them with loyalty. Show love to them when you cook and when you clean. You know, treat them right even as a servant. What he's saying is even if you do your lowly job right, I'm going to bless you. And he says, servants, y'all forget the part where he says, servants, understand that you got a master un over you. You got a judge watching you. So he wasn't talking about no black slavery. He wasn't talking about the Atlantic slavery. He wasn't talking about no slave masters putting us in the ground and pouring honey on our head and let the bees eating us hanging us and chopping off the private parts because they was threatened by it. he wasn't talking about them killing us because they didn't want us to go to school or read he wasn't talking about us whipping oh, whipping us because they didn't want us to know how to read baby i know the history he wasn't talking about us context my dear context if y'all want to take stuff and twist it no and if some of those delusional white men that happened to be in KKK that claimed that they were Christians were trying to use the Bible that was wrong and that was insane and that they were using it out of context. So when he says to obey your master's slaves, he wasn't talking about the slave trade and black slave. He was talking about those indentured servants, those servants that cooked and cleaned and had children for their masters back in the day and they did not beat them. He said they were they were supposed to treat them right. They did not kill them. They did not treat them the way they treated us. So it's context, my dear context. It was like a job. And they still gave them food. They still cared for them. This is what their masters did at that time. So it's context. It's context because y'all like to take our words and twist it and say, oh, Christianity endorses slavery. And it never has and never did. That was like an indentured servant. And they got paid. The way they got paid was they had a place to stay. They had a nice bed to sleep in. They had food to eat. They didn't have to worry about what they were going to do. At that time, if you didn't have a husband, you couldn't make it. And it was like that up until the 30s, 40s, 50s. Okay, so it's context, context, context. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about Jasmine Crockett and her looking up to Kamala Harris and how of a horrible job she did as a lawyer and how she also tried to keep one man on death row and hold back innocence until the press kept pushing her and they finally allowed him to take his DNA and she almost got him killed. I, I don't want to talk about Kamala Harris and the fact that Jasmine Crockett is looking up to this jack butt of a woman that can't even do her job that failed as a lawyer that failed uh, in these other districts of the government but you want to say that Oh, I want to look up to her as a black woman when she's imprisoning black citizens, but letting those criminals that are illegal, um, let's just say illegals, come in and kill people. I know they're not all dangerous. It would be ignorant to say they're all dangerous. But for those that are, she couldn't do her one job. 
So y'all just better wake up and look at the statistics and just stop voting for people because of what they look like or because of how pretty or because of how melanated they are or because you think, oh, because they look more like me, we winning. What are they doing for you? But some of y'all just going to vote for her because you do have some cousins, some family members that are illegals, and you don't want Trump to get in to send them back. I understand you love your family, but for those of you, let me speak to that. Let me speak to that. For those of you who are saying... um. You have some cousins, some family members that are illegal in this country, and you're saying, I'm not going to vote for Trump because he's just going to send everybody back. That is very selfish, and um, I know that you love your family. I get you love your family, and no, I do not have any family that are illegal, so I cannot understand um, where you're coming from. However, as an American citizen to an American citizen, I feel like it's very selfish because they are not American citizens. So you're not even voting for the best of American citizens. You're voting based on a non-American citizen and you're not voting about how that how who you're voting for will actually affect American citizens because you're just voting for somebody because you don't want them to send somebody who is a non-American citizen back to their country so I feel like that's selfish because it's not what they can actually do for the American people is what they can do for your cousin who is an illegal immigrant and I heard somebody say my cousin been working for years to stay in this country but my question is to you if he's been working for years he should have had his papers and I I don't know about y'all, but a lot of, of people and immigrants, they stick together to get their money up to make sure their cousins get their legal documentation. They would have had it by now. So it's no excuse to me. You can't just show up, bum rush your board and say, okay, give me, give me y'all money, get pay my taxes, give me this social security. You ain't did nothing. You just showed up. Well, shoot, if that's the case, I don't have to work for nothing either. Give me $10 million. Give me $60 million. Give me a car with $50 million. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to do nothing either. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to go through nothing. Just give it to me because I want it and I said it and it's going to be mine and y'all going to pay for it. It don't work like that. So. Uh, I just think that's selfish because it's not about the American people. It's just about this person that's not even an American citizen. And if you want them to be one, put y'all money up and pay for them to do it the right way, period. Put your money up. Put your money up. There's no excuse. Get together. Put your money up. A lot of minorities, a lot of y'all, y'all stick together. Put your money up. There's no excuse. Uh, what else was I going to say? Because there was something else I was going to say, but I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot, but I'm going to come back with the Project 2025. I want to make sure I do my thorough, do more thorough research, not just what I just heard about it. And then I'm going to bring my input on that. And I'm going to tie that into Jasmine Crockett as well, because they like to, um, liberals like to post um, Trump's face to that. So we're going to see if Trump is really for it or not. And we're going to look all into it because there were some things that I agree with it on there. And then there were some things I didn't agree with. So we're going to look into that and what that's really about. But I just wanted to say that, um, I've already said it, but Jasmine Crockett is a Delilah. She's wooing y'all with her looks, her intelligence, her degrees, and her words dropping like honey. And she's saying vote for her because she black. Not to mention that Kamala Harris, I think they said she pledged, so she's in one of those black fraternities, sororities. And I wonder, is Jasmine Crockett secretly in a sorority? And it's like, it doesn't matter how horrible, um, how horrible Kamala Harris did, if Jasmine Crockett is in a sorority, that's another theory. She has to tell you to vote for her because in their sisterhood, they be like gang members. Like, you have to lift them up. You have to get them a job, even if they wrong. They could be a murderer. But if y'all both AKAs, you got to hire them. That's some dark stuff. And that's the dark roots of these um, sororities that, that, that y'all don't know about. So I just wonder, that's a theory. Because obviously the results speak against Kamala Harris. But Jasmine Crockett, who y'all see is, you know, this black, intelligent, beautiful young lady is still endorsing her. And because she is, despite Jasmine Harris, uh, what is it, Kamala Harris's uh, low numbers and her failures as a as the vice president and her failures as a law lawyer and her failures in her district and her nobody even really voted for her nobody wanted her despite that because this woman jasmine crockett because this one woman is coming out y'all like oh yeah i like jasmine and she said endorse kamala so never mind that kamala can't do nothing for us as a people never mind that she let um some dangerous people in here or never mind that she can't even just control the border and just allow it to be done the right way that she's just allowing anybody in never mind that she can't even carry out policy correctly but yet we want to endorse her as president never mind all that i'm going to say that she should still be president when she couldn't even do her one job why because jasmine crockett said i should vote for her and jasmine crockett is melanated jasmine crockett is beautiful she's intelligent that's black excellent so forget the fact that kamala harris doesn't know how to do her job she's black isn't that good enough we're winning no that's not good enough 
That's not good enough. She don't know how to run a country. All she know how to do is tell women you have the right to abort your kids and that boys should be girls and that this is freedom and laugh, laugh, laugh and say thank you, thank you. Good night, Wisconsin. Good afternoon, Wisconsin. <laughs> Biden is doing great. He's doing okay. I ain't seen Biden yet. Where is Biden at? And I hope he's okay. Y'all better wake up and don't let Jezebel and Delilah lead y'all into the lion's den. Y'all know what happened to Samson. Y'all know what happened to Samson. She cut off all his hair, all his wisdom. Let y'all sit around here and neglect Israel and neglect standing by Israel and elect this witch in office because all these prominent blacks are voting for them and their wicked agenda and, and, and all this and they against Jesus Christ and against the, the, the Christian morals and all these things. Hey, I can't tell you not to worship the teddy bear in your home. But as for me and my house, we serving the Lord. This nation was founded on Christ. But y'all want to go ahead and elect these demonic people. She so want America to take a great fall. She so want the wrath of God pour out. And you've been warned. Don't you let a Jezebel and Delilah lead you into the lion's den. Take away your glory, America. Black people. Because they look good and they words drop like honey. Because they feet go down to hell. Killing the innocent. Killing babies. Killing innocent babies. Innocent, baby, if you don't want to keep your legs closed. Baby, if you don't want them, use a condom. Use protection. They got birth control. You can get your tubes tied. If you know you don't want kids, why are you having all this unprotected sex? Why aren't you being responsible? Why aren't you being mature and taking precautions where you don't even have to get pregnant? It's, un it's selfish for you to make life to take life. Not to mention demonic, not to mention it's a murder to God. Hands that shed innocent blood, one the abomination. But see, 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 we're not even going to talk about it. Because they don't, they don't go by that. America, you're going to take a great fall if you let Delilah and Jezebel lead you. Let them lead you. And see, won't the wrath of God pour out on this nation in due time. Y'all better wake up. Because she beautiful and she fine. And no words drop like honey, but baby, she leading you to hell. She leading you right into the lion's den. And y'all don't care because she's melanated. As long as she melanated, she can do no wrong. As long as she got black girl magic. Is it black girl magic or is it just dark magic and demonic? Wake up, people. Killing the killing of innocent babies is enough. That's murder. When does life start? They say it does not start in the the. They say it don't start at, at, at conception. They say it starts when a baby comes out. How dumb is that? So if life does not start at conception, the moment the egg hit the sperm, the moment y'all created life when God sends his spirit, then what is that growing in your stomach? Is it a jelly bean? Is it is it because even a worm has life, right? And some of y'all are so quick to say, save the animals and you only eat vegetables and so don't kill the chickens, roosters and turkeys and save animals. That's why I only eat vegetables and stop wearing fur because y'all killing the animal, but you quick to kill a human life. And which one is more valuable, a human life or that turkey that I'm having for Thanksgiving dinner that don't have a soul? But y'all quick to say, save the animals. I don't eat meat. I only eat vegetables, but you so for abortion. And so you see how hypocritical, make it make sense because it don't. You eat, you, you quicker to save a polar bear, a turkey, a chicken, a rooster than you are a human life. You want to say save the animals, but you want to say kill human beings. That their life don't, don't matter until they come out the womb. Make it make sense. If their life don't matter until they come out the womb, what is that growing inside of you? Is it a jelly bean? Is it a plant? Is it a caterpillar? You're ignorant. It's a human. It's life. So I don't want to hear no more about save the animals. I don't believe in killing animals. That's why I eat vegetables. But you one of them ones, them feminists that stand up and say abortion, woman's rights. You talking about saving the animals, but you killing human lives. It's hypocritical and it's demonic. And y'all are outrageously delusional. And you better not let a Jezebel and a Delilah lead y'all to hell because that's what's happening. I'm over it. I'm over it. Y'all care more about animal lives than y'all do about human lives. And it's sad. And God calls it murder. And if you don't repent, hell is waiting. I don't care what Beyonce said. I don't care what Delilah and Jezebel said. God said he gave Jezebel time to repent too. And she didn't. And guess what? She got eaten by the dogs. In God's time, he gonna get everybody if they don't repent. But I'm not gonna be going down with the wicked. I'm not gonna be going down with the wicked. Because I'm on God's side. I'm on God's side. Who's on God's side? Throw the wickedness down. Don't stand with the preachers. Preach out against it. Just because they're melanated, God ain't with them. She's killing innocent babies. She's for same-sex marriage, and God does not call that a union. He calls a union between a man and a woman. A marriage is only between a man and a woman. He's not for little boys to be turned to little girls. He's not for drag queens coming into preschool. He is not for this wickedness. And he said, obey the laws of the Bible as well, the laws of the land. And just to let y'all know, I'm not against... Uh, 
minorities and all that. I know y'all think I am. I really don't care what y'all think. But I, but I care enough to let you know I'm not. I just believe things should be done the right way. But I also know that in my heart as a Christian, there are some cases where it's mercy over law, where some people may not have the money. And if they believe in Jesus Christ and they really got God like that, even if they are illegal, God going to make a way for them to get in and still going to make a way for them to get their papers. I'm Christian enough and I have enough love to know that. So if I see an immigrant, I'm not going to treat them bad. I don't believe in that anyway. I show love. The ones that I'm against, it's some out here that's haughty, that's got some ugly attitudes, they racist and they proud, but send them back. They shooting at the cops. They coming over here trying to be hardcore. You could have been hardcore in Venezuela and Brazil, wherever it is that you came. You could have been hardcore over there. You want to come over here and be a gangster. Stay a gangster in your country. That's the ones I'm against, the prideful ones. It's some humble ones that they really don't have no money like that. Guess what? I, I'm Christian enough and I'm woman enough to know that God made a way. Because if it was me and I didn't have the money, I might have been the legal alien too. They call it illegal. Guess what? I still believe that for those that are truly like that and they have Jesus and are humble, God's going to make a way for them. God's going to make a way for them. I understand the law and I feel like it should be done by the law. But for those that really don't have the money, guess what? God going to always make a way for his children. He gonna make a way for them to get what they need. He gonna make a way for them. But for them other ones, y'all know, send the ones that shooting and killing, that's racist, that's hateful, and that's demanding stuff, send them back, okay? Y'all, wake up and don't allow Delilah and Jezebel to lead you. Because guess what? If they get in office, y'all gonna live to regret it. And I'm gonna be looking from the sidelines saying, I told you so. And I'm gonna be in the Netherlands, I'm gonna be in Scotland, I'm gonna be in the UK. Because I'm not staying over here to go through all this mess and the face the wrath of God. Because y'all turned y'all back on God and y'all turned y'all back on Israel. Because they don't stand with Israel. The, the, the Democrat Party stands with Gaza. They do not like Israel for some reason. That lets you know that Satan is with them because Satan always hates Israel and Jews. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better get to stand with Jesus Christ and give your life back to Jesus and stand on godly principles and stand with Israel. But the moment y'all don't, the moment y'all keep going into this decline, I'm about to be on a flight to another country because I'm trying to get as much years as I can before God destroys this whole place. And if America going first, guess what? I'm going first flight to the Netherlands, first flight to uh, Lagos, Nigeria, first flight to Scotland, first flight to London, first flight to somewhere where I can still serve Jesus for a little bit more time before he totally destroys the world because of their wickedness. Hello. Hello. I ain't just talking out my tail, baby. I got statistics. She want to say that he a neo-Nazi Christian, neo-Nazi pushing his religion, baby. Where the statistics? Where the Christians rob somebody and chop their head off because they want to serve somebody else in Jesus Christ? I always say you're going to go to hell, but we ain't chopping your head off. We will tell you going to hell all day long. We finna say you finna go to hell all day, but guess what? We not finna kill you. We ain't even finna follow you around. We don't do that. But Muslims do. Y'all go around. Talking y'all anti-Semitic, deaf to Jews, deaf to America, but yet you over here walking around without your hijab and in your country you get your head chopped off. Come on, come on, but you want to come over here. Come on, bring the statistics, Jasmine. Bring the statistics. Y'all be talking out y'all tail and don't have statistics because the statistics speak against you. But you want to call us neo-Nazi Christians, right, that we just imposing on everybody. That's not true because if we was, we'd be going to people's house killing people. That's what they do in Islamic countries when you don't believe in Allah. If they find that you don't believe in them, they come to your house. Burn you alive, chop your head off. You don't have your hijab on, off with your head. You got a t-shirt and some uh some flip-flops on, and you a female, you ain't got your 10 layers on, off with your head. But you talk about us, Jasmine. Girl, come with the statistics. Come with the statistics, okay? Because just like you, I like to talk. I don't have no degree, but I can keep up with you, honey. I can keep up with you, but I'm trying to get my degree, though. Um, But yes, kudos to the Congress thing. Kudos, and I hope I'm next, honey, because I think y'all need a different one. Y'all need a y'all need a conservative voice, because y'all used to hearing the, the liberal black voices that's always willing to kill their black babies, but then want to say the white man did it when you killing the black man in your stomach, you killing the black woman in your stomach. Y'all used to hearing them voices that stuck on stupid, stuck on the plantation, stuck in indoctrinated with that stupid doctor y'all don't want to hear the ones that are truly woke spiritually woke by christ the ones that saying no that life in your stomach matters god put it there that's a black man that's a black woman in your stomach no life does not start when it comes out your vagina it starts at the moment of conception because it's not a magical being growing in your stomach it's a human life but you want to say you don't eat meat save the animals but kill human life make it make sense